everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and today we're going to make a holiday centerpiece that would be perfect for the mantle or for your table at home. This is something we do in workshops and you're, you can sign up to have a workshop with us or we do sell some of the components um, that you can take home and make it yourself. So we're going to start with this little dish. We call it a dog dish. I don't know why, that's just the name it has kind of in the industry, just a nickname but it is a standard base for floral arrangements. To make the arrangement, we're gonna use a piece of um, craft foam or floral foam, and I have one pre-wet here. When you have this and you need to wet it, fill up a sink or a little container and set it on top. Let it sink down slowly and fill up with water. Don't push it in. We wanna make sure it's saturated and doesn't have air bubbles inside the foam. So to get started, I'm going to use a third of this block and they come with a line on them. So out of this block, I could do three dishes. I'll put that one to the side. So it's the perfect size to press into here. Gently putting it in. We're going to secure it with some floral tape. Now this tape is water resistant. It's like a mini duct tape. It works really, really well. This is just so if it gets knocked over, it doesn't all fall out. There, the tape is on. For this particular arrangement, we are going to put a candle in the middle. And I have a bunch of supplies here. This little pick holds the candle in nice and securely. I like to use it right in the center and I like to put it in before I begin so that there's space for it with the branches in the foam. Hopefully you can all see that nicely. I'll put that up a bit higher. Hopefully that's a bit better. There we go. Okay, so to begin, we're going to make little triangles of branches all the way around. I have some cedar pre-cut. I am going to need more, but I wanted it to go a little bit quick. So you can make it longer or shorter just by how you put the cedar in. We're just pressing it into the foam. When you put this, when you put a branch in, if you don't like the spot, when you pull it out, you can't just put it back in that exact same spot again. Um, because the ends of the branches need to stay nice and moist, not have air pockets on them. So I'm really happy I've got, water might leak out, but I just have it kind of random around the edges. Again, if they're too long, we can give them a little cut, but not yet. So we're using cedar to start with. This is always the main ingredient in our greens arrangements. And when you're doing this, you need to have a decent pair of pruning shears or some really good scissors. And we're going to use as much of the branch as we can with as little waste as possible so that we're really efficient with our materials. We're just gonna keep making little triangles all the way around. Okay, now we're at the point where I have a nice layer all the way around the edge, but not necessarily on the top here. Something I do whenever I put a candle in is I put a swirl of branches right around the candle holder, and then I fill in the rest of it. So for that, we're actually gonna use pine. So these branches here are white pine, and this is the most fragrant branch that we use. I love the, that crisp holiday smell, that woodsy cabiny smell from the pine. And it cuts pretty simple with the clippers. If you have bigger pieces of pine, it is a little trickier to cut. So we're just gonna cut some short pieces to begin with and go right around that candle holder. because we don't want to end up seeing it when we're when we're all done. So 
in a swirling pattern, we're going to put it kind of sideways like that. So then any, it really, it really covers that nicely in the top. We're gonna backfill in here and have more flare and um, dimension coming up. I'm going to put in some pine and then we'll have another branch to show you. Now that we have the pine in, we're going to add our third type of branch and this is called silver fir. So silver fir has green on the top side of the branch but more of a silver color on the back. Now when we use it, we really like to have the silver facing upwards so that we get that real dimension added. And there's a distinct look in the color of greens. You can see that the pine is quite a lot darker than the uh, cedar. And then this adds that next third color, which just looks super pretty. So again, we wanna cut this so that we're getting the most out of the branch. And instead of, what we don't want is we don't want to cut it straight across. I'll use this as an example. We don't want to cut it straight across and look like we cut our own bangs. We want to have that nice natural look of the leaf or the edge of that branch. So I'm just going to snip a bunch of these up and then we'll put them in the arrangement. Okay, now I'll show you as I add a few of these in just to see how pretty that silver color is added into this arrangement. So when we look really closely, we can see a couple of holes. I'm just gonna quickly fill that in. All right, I am really happy with how full this looks. When I'm looking at it from every angle, I'm not seeing any of the green foam, which is perfect. And now we get to do a really fun part, which is decorating it. So this is where we can be super creative. And I just wanna say that for making this, we used about two and a half pieces of cedar, uh, one piece of silver fir, so sorry, two and a half pieces of cedar, one piece of silver fir and maybe three quarters of a piece of pine, not even, maybe half a piece of pine. Just so you can estimate what you would need if you would like to do this at home or if you're buying the materials um, to make it at home, I guess. At home or, or work, this is super fun for corporate. We do a lot of these for corporate parties. So, starting with my decorations, I personally love, love, love a red, white, green Christmas and gold. And so I've chosen a red candle. Again, you can choose whatever you would like for your own. Um, Paige helped me pick some of the decorations and she loves this burlap poinsettia ribbon. And this is just recycled from something I had in my own house. I have some of these from some of my decorations and we put these on a stick. So you can see that stick there. We're just gonna give this a really nice insert. I think, oh popped out. Push that in. I will have to re-fluff it. I think that, oh my stick fell off. Oops. Oops. It's okay. I have a spare stick. Sometimes that happens. It's okay. I'll wire a new one on. The sticks come in different lengths and I did buy short sticks this time, so that could be my problem. But we'll give that a nice gentle push there. If I need to, I will trim those tails off when I'm all done. We love using ribbon that has wire in it because it's easy to poof them back up, especially like this stuff, if I've used it for more than one season, it gets its shape back super easy you can play around with those tails. So I'm going to put in some of these Christmas balls. Now what we've done is we have wired that onto a stick. I 
and then it's just gonna give us some pizzazz. You could also just wire the balls onto a piece of the branch. red one got one really big ball I'm gonna put it right by the ribbon and I don't have a stick for this one so I'll put that in later I also got some red berries I really like these this was just a big pick that I cut up so that it would be smaller sized. I'm going to throw a few of these in. It doesn't want to go in. Like that. There's so many ways that you can decorate these and this is really a lot of fun. I also have this pick that I picked up. I'm just going to cut off a few of these pine cones. If I can cut it. We'll see. There we go. I really like these. They have a bit of gold glitter dusted on them. Put one in on this side. And we'll put one in over on this side. There we go. Okay, I, th I think I have everything in here that I wanted. I love how bright and cheerful that is. I love the pop of red and the red candle. So if you wanna come make one with us, we do have workshops or we will have them in the store ready to go this Saturday. I hope you enjoy it and I hope this inspires you to make one for yourself as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys. Happy holidays! Oh, I might have to melt that.